Good morning and welcome to the Farmington High School Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony. Thank, <laughs> Thank you to our combined FHS band and orchestra members led by Mr. Jacob Trains and Mr. Michael Steele. I invite you all to stand at this time. Gentlemen, please remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem by our combined choirs directed by Farmington High School Choir Director, Angel Gippert. Thank you, you may be seated. Excellent job, choir. At this time, I would like to introduce our Board of Education members for all of their support to our FHS students. Dr. Cheryl Blau, Ms. Claudia Henrik, Mr. Donald Walker, Ms. Terry Weems, Ms. Mabel Fox, Mr. Zach Rich, and Ms. Angie Smith. In addition, we'd like to introduce our central administration that is in attendance with us today. Dr. Christopher Delgado, Dr. Kelly Coffin, Mr. John Barth, and Ms. Diane Bauman. It is now my distinct honor to welcome our superintendent of Farmington Public Schools, Dr. Christopher Delgado, to the podium. Well, good morning. A philosopher, a philosophy professor once stood up before his class with a large, empty mayonnaise jar. He filled the jar to the top with large rocks and asked his students if the jar was full. His students all agreed the jar was full. But then he added small pebbles to the jar and gave the jar a bit of a shake so the pebbles could disperse themselves amongst the larger rocks. He, he then asked again, is the jar full now? The students agreed the jar was still full. The professor then poured sand into the jar to fill up all the remaining empty space. The students then agreed that the jar was full. In this story, the jar represents your life. And the rocks, the pebbles, and the sand are things that fill up your life. The rocks represent the most important things and projects that you have going on, such as spending time with your family, connecting with the world around you, and maintaining proper health. That means that the pebbles and sand were lost. That means that if the pebbles and sands were lost, the jar would still be full and your life would still have meaning. The pebbles represent the things in your life that matter, but that you could live without. 
The pebbles are certainly things that give your life meaning, such as your job, house, hobbies, and friendships, but they are not critical for you to have a meaningful life. These things often come and go and are not permanent or essential to your overall well-being. Finally, the sand represents the remaining filler things in your life and material possessions. This could be small things such as watching television, browsing through your favorite social media site, or running errands. And students, if you heard that, social media is not the most important thing in your life. It's just the sand. I think some of our adults need to remember that as well. Sand things don't mean much in your life as a whole and are likely only done to pass time or get small tasks accomplished. The metaphor here is that if you start with putting sand into your jar, you will not have room for rocks or pebbles. This holds true with things that you let into your life. After all, you get to choose who and what you let into your life. If you spend all of your time on small and insignificant things, you will run out of room for the things that are actually important. Now, you're young adults, so your jar is far from empty. It's mostly full already. The question is, what are you filling it with? And as you embark on your next stage in your life, pay attention to the big rocks. They are critical to your long-term well-being. I've gotten a chance to know this class, and I'm so very proud of each and every one of you. I wish you all the joy and happiness that life has waiting for you, and I encourage you to pursue careers that are meaningful and satisfying to you, that contribute to our society, and that help you experience success as you define it. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Delgado, for your kind and encouraging words. Next, I'd like to welcome Lillian Penner, our cl senior class president, to the podium. Well guys, we finally made it to graduation day. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who helped us graduates get to this special day. Thank you to all the families, teachers, administrators, staff, and everyone else who supported our class. Most importantly, I want to congratulate all of us graduates here today for our hard work and dedication over the past 13 years as we reflect on our experience. An experience that was different from any other classes that have graduated from Farmington High School or any that will. We've shared so many special experiences together and have each had our own unique journeys through the years that brought us here today. Looking back to our first year of kindergarten, we began to get asked the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Some said they wanted to be astronauts, professional athletes, or movie stars. It was so exciting to think about all the different things we could do when we were older. But as we grew up, this question started to become stressful and coming up with an answer carried so much pressure. Pressure to know what you want to do with the rest of your life while you're still trying to figure out how to do algebra. It ingrains us with this idea that what you do and the things you accomplish define you as a person. For a while, my self-worth came from how well I was doing in my classes and the accomplishments I was making. Anything that I couldn't list on the Common App felt pointless or a waste of time and energy. These things didn't give a tangible reward that made me feel like I had succeeded. But reflecting on my time in high school, the pure joy didn't come from my SAT or GPA. My favorite memories came from the time spent with my classmates and friends when all the pressure seemed to disappear. When I think about farms in high school, I think about pushing people up to crowd surf at homecoming. I think about outdoor ed field trips and working in the school store with my best friends. I think about laughing so hard at lunch that I couldn't swallow my food. I think about dancing and singing with my teammates on the bus to away games. I think about our football team beating North in overtime and jumping the fence to crash the field. I think about all of us coming together for a tailgate in the student parking lot, singing no hands at prom, and eventually I'll probably think about all of us walking this stage. Most of all, I think about all the incredible people that I was so blessed to have the opportunity to grow up with. Looking back with this new perspective, I challenge everyone to reconsider the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? And instead ask yourself, who do you want to be when you grow up? Switching this one word reframes the question 
to let us think about what is really important. Not what job or accomplishments you'll have, but your character and identity. When you decide what values and qualities are truly important to you, I challenge you to see if your decisions and actions are reflecting them. It's a crucial time in our lives to be intentional about what we're doing and how it will affect who we become. Whether you're going to college, trade school, enlisting in the military, or entering the workforce, remember to not get so caught up on the material things like money, job title, or societal labels that you lose who you are. Be guided by your beliefs, and most importantly, be yourself. I want to finish off my speech with a quote by the Abbott brothers, decide what to be and go be it. So graduates, who do you want to be when you grow up? Because now is the time to make it happen. Congratulations, class of 2023. Best of luck to all of you, and I'm so excited to see who you all become. Thank you, Lily, for an absolutely wonderfully inspiring speech uh, that means so much. Um, and your words of not what do you want to be, but who are, are great words for us all to listen to today. At this time, uh, we'd like to invite our combined choirs, including our senior choir members, to perform two pieces, Standing By and You'll Never Walk Alone. Once again, these pieces are directed by Miss Angel Gippert.
Thank you once again to our combined choirs and especially those senior members. We are so proud of all you have. I see the tears in your eyes, which means the choir was a wonderful experience. So thank you for being a part of that. Once again, I'd like to say good morning to Dr. Delgado, our Board of Education, Farmington High School staff, class of 2023 students, family members, and friends. As the principal of Farmington High School, it is my distinct honor to present to you the graduating class of 2023. Today is a day of celebration, a day of joy, and a day of new beginnings. Congratulations on this momentous occasion of your graduation. As your principal, I have watched you grow and evolve into the young adults you are today. I am proud of your achievements and excited to see where the future will take you. Graduation marks the end of one journey and the start of another. As you move forward, some of you will be handling the demands of college, some will go into the workforce, and others may take a break to travel or explore new opportunities. Whatever path you choose, remember that Farmington Public Schools education has prepared you for your success. You have learned more than just the core subjects in school. You have learned how to think critically, collaborate with others, and persevere in the face of challenges. These skills will serve you throughout your life. But as you embark on this new journey, know that success is not just about what you achieve, but how you achieve it. It's about being kind, ethical, and compassionate. It's about making a positive impact on the world around you. As your principal, I have seen you take on all these qualities, and I am confident that you will continue to do so in the future. Class of 2023, your academic achievements are something to be proud of. They're something to be applauded. But beyond that, your acts of kindness, social awareness, and your let's go attitude, although it may be when you're walking in late with a Starbucks cup, is always appreciated. You're inclusive, mindful, you are inclusive, you're mindful, you're advocates, smart, kind, fun, respectful, and just downright awesome. This is with no mixed words, it's because of you, but it's also because of the people supporting you. The board members, administrators, teachers, counselors, social workers, RPs, paraprofessionals, secretaries, SROs, custodians, bus drivers, and anyone else who played a role in getting you here today, thank you. To the parents, guardians, families, and the small villages who allowed us to be part of your children's journey, including the highs and lows, we thank you. It has been our honor to be a part of your child's life. I can only hope that we have helped to fulfill your child's needs, wants, and hopes as they move forward in the future. As a first year principal, I could not be more proud of thy graduating class. I, along with all the staff at FHS, must say that we are so incredibly proud of you. You showed us what it meant to be a great class. You showed us what it meant to I'm sorry, you showed us what it meant to be a great class. As we told you at your senior breakfast, we really do miss you. We miss your positive energy in the halls at FHS. We miss you on our courts and in our fields. We miss you in our offices, our classrooms, the IB study lounge, the music week, wing, art rooms, and again, even in the hallways while you're late and we're yelling at you to get to class. Although you may be feeling anxious or have questions or may be feeling excitement about the future, Please know that we are here for you. All of these feelings are normal and will help you propel yourself into a new and exciting life in the future. We as your admin team, including Mr. Corey Porterfield and Mrs. Linda Shannon, along with all of your teachers, are excited to see what you're going to do in the real world. Although your paths may look different, as they should, they will be your paths. Accept the challenges, the setbacks, the good times, and the bad that will lie ahead. All of these experiences are what will make you exactly who you should be, you. Class of 2023, I could not be more proud of the people you were, are, and will become. Today is the start of something great. Know that greatness comes in different timelines, paths, and adventures, but you will find what's great for you. 
I would be remiss to not mention the great Michael Jordan, the GOAT, and the graduation speech of the class of 2023. MJ once said, I believe greatness is an evolutionary process that changes and evolves year to year. Class of 2023, the next step in your process starts today, and we are here cheering you on. Go become the GOAT. I would now like to welcome our Farmington Public Schools Board of Education President, Dr. Cheryl Blau, to the podium. Kudos and congratulations to you graduates. Today is both an ending and a new beginning. It marks the completion of a very long and challenging journey. 13 years. It's been 13 years since you began this journey in kindergarten. Look how far you've come since then. Think about your kindergarten self and what your little kindergarten self would be thinking about you now as you sit here in your robes, your caps and gowns. Look at how far you have come, despite whatever obstacles arose along the way, whatever curveballs life has thrown at you. You have persevered, you have found a way, and you have succeeded. As you set sail into the next chapter of your lives, I have one piece of advice I would like to share with you. There is a powerful difference between because and even though. Sometimes, no matter how carefully we plan or how hard we work, things don't turn out quite the way we expected. Life circumstances sometimes interfere with what we had planned where we were going, how long it would take, or how hard it would be to get there. These unexpected interruptions make things more complicated and messy and frustrating than we anticipated. When this happens, we have a choice. We can tell ourselves, because this happened, I'll never reach my goals, or because this happened, I'll never be able to create a happy and fulfilling life for myself. Or, instead, we can tell ourselves, even though this happened, I can still reach my goals. Even though this happened, I can still create a happy and fulfilling life for myself. It may take me longer than I expected. I might have to find a different way to get there or chart a new course to a different destination than I'd originally planned, but I can still find success, and I can still create a happy and fulfilling life for myself, even though. And so graduates, as we celebrate the end of your K-12 school career, we wish you well as you begin, well, <laughs> the rest of your lives. We are so very proud of all that you have learned and accomplished along the way. And we wish for you an even though attitude of resilience and perseverance as your adventure continues. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you, Dr. Blau. <clears throat> to all, I give you the class of 2023. Dr. Delgado, members of the Board of Education, I present the class of 2023. This class has shown you kindness, perseverance, dignity, inclusion, fun, and flexibility, and that's not easy. Among you are scholar athletes, national merit scholars, DECA, PBA, HOSA, national champs, state athletes, IB graduates, students that just downright gave it their all. all as a class, you have earned millions of dollars of scholarship and however, have forever changed and bettered Farmington High School. I hereby certify that all those students graduating today have met or exceeded all requirements set forth for them. I present to the parents, community, superintendent, board of education, the class of 2023 graduates.
On behalf of the Board of Education and the entire Farmington Public Schools District, by the power vested in me by the State of Michigan, I hereby declare the class of 2023 of Farmington High School to be officially graduated. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, we will start our roll call. We'd like to bring Ms. Kirsten Gentry and Mr. Rory Crittenton, our senior class of 2023 class sponsors, to the podium. Carissa Grace Hankins. <laughs> Ella Maria Hansen. <laughs> Desiree Octavia Glenn. <laughs> Sandy and John Coley. <laughs> William Garcia. Davika Devesh Kumar, three. Elise Kalorin Weeden. Natasha Eva Davis Mikkel. Chauncey Jarrell Blannon. 
Scott Bloomfield. Noreen Tobai Bongado. Evan Alexander Benuti. Christopher Terrell Boyd Jr. Maxwell David Brandall. Gregory Briggs. Abigail Brooke. Mecca Van Brooks. Bryn Olivia Brown. Keyshawn Brown. Anaya Alicia Brown. Joseph Bruce Jr. Laron Isaiah Bergman. Henry William Burns Pavlik. Oh. Ariana Bustos. Gabriella Solar. Quentin Tyler Campbell. Sean Da Vinci Campbell Jr. Lucas Condriani. McCray Edward Carpenter. Nathan Carpenter Crawford. Leah Carter. Jordan Caruthers Love. Adam Shaban. Dustin James Chandra. Ashton Theodore Chapman. Eva Vivian Charles. Kaylin Brooke Chin. Washinabi Chintelapati. Cameron Joseph Wynonski. Nia Celeste Clemens. Marcus Cleveland Jr. Tariq Clinton. Carmen Raymond Cochamilio. Connor Cochamilio. Brianna Coffer. James Cole. Camden Marie Coleman. Andrew Corkery. Mara D. Castilla. Stephen Prager. Stephen Cummings. Alicia Bell Sura. Abigail Defanescu. Ardita Dema. Madison K. Danucci. Samara Jasmine Doctor. Lucas Donahue. Madison Marie Drain. Ian Paul Eberly. Mackenzie Edmonton. Anushka Igari. Gina Marie Elita. Thomas Charles Elliston. 
Olivia Reese Eppensteiner. Emily Halal Farnak. Brooke Lanai Farrington. Elizabeth Phillip. Gabrielle Deshane Finch. Kayla Monique Fortunato. Kiana Marie Fortunato. Matthew David Fowler. Mason Harper Fraley. Honoria Marie Frangi. Chanel Renee Franklin. Madeline Gianna Frazee. Brandon Michael Fuller Jr. Elon Gacha. Kendall Marie Gagnon. Noah Marshall Ganyo Glowak. Parthen Gaju. Sierra Marie Gardner. Amari Jason Giles. Claire Elise Gerba. Brendan Gallix. Crystal Gonzalez. Danielle Jamila Griffin. Jeffrey Ignatius Grinovisky. Kylie Jordan Guerrero. Joshua Gunn. Adil Haddad. Ryan Hanks. Jay Carlos. Muhammad Hasher. Cameron James Henderson. William Henderson. Mason Lewis Henry. Shane Daniel Hess. Ari Hoffman. Kayla Megan Holcomb. Sophia Grayson Holly. Davis Robert Holiday. Bryce Kamau Howard. Maddox Howard. Alex William Huddleston. Cameron Hughes. Caitlin Rose Ignacia. Jason Iris. Matthew William Ingalls. Ugly Jane. Sydney Brooke Jaworski. Montek Singh Jun. Caleb Armani Johnson. 
Zipporah Zaire Johnson. Braylon Tanae Jones. Kennedy Jones. Joshua Joseph. Nicholas James Giuliano. Isabella Lynn Knaus. Jonah McKenna Kellert. Lucy Bella Kent. Tyler Paul Keyes. Ibrahim Khan. Muaz Khan. Ramesa Khan. Janelle Marie Kadir. Christian George Kincaid. Daniel Meyer, 
Lauren Lene Myers. Colin James Miles. Amanda Susan Millar. Gavin James Miller. Abigail Cleo Moore. Marcellus Darnell Montgomery. Darmel Christopher Moore.
Joseph Richmond. Scarlett Claire Richter. Christine Elizabeth Rinker. Logan Albert Robinson. Hayden Theodore Rometty. Lena Aries Rose. Miriam Bassam Abed Safirna. Hamza Sajid. Yusuf Zaki Sally. Luke Alexander Scher. Robert Howard Schwerman. Charlotte Rose Serna. Rashad Amir Shabazz. Chayden Michael Sharp. Christopher Allen Simmons. Benjamin Joseph Sims. Alexander Jonathan Skinner. Madeline Suzanne Sluck. Preeti Proven Sonawain. Grace Elizabeth Spencer. Liam Kenneth Danila Stacy. Gavin James Steele. Elizabeth Steffens. Ian James Stewart. Chandler Michelle Stewart Coleman. Joe Reynolds. Georgina Emily Stoughton. Ernie Struess. Emma Rose Stutzman. Adam Jude Skipakulowski. Pranav Tamanidi. Jordan Thomas. Deja Anaya Thomas. Yasmin Nakahisa Thorpe. Noah Thrasher. Parachi Tillwalker. Anthony James Tolbert II. Quinlan Delaney Tolman. Alexis McKenna Tool. Yukana Uzuki. Joel Buddy. Andrew Van Aken. Candy Gune Bay. Selena Kalora Basha. Joshua Lee Walker. Destiny Bautista Jackson Wallach. Peyton Noel Wells. Lucas Charles West. Maria Wheeler. Grant David Wiesenheim. <laughs> Lizzie White. 
Brody Walter with. Landon Wiesner. Claire Lynn Wolke. Keyshawn Christopher Wilson. Kylie Lynn Wilson. Lamont Deshaun Winston Jr. Spencer Rose Woodward. Shane Alexander Yaros. Elias Yatoman. Samaya Yazdani. Ishal Zafar. Yobain Zahang. Henry William Burns Pavlet. Class of 2023, since the reign of England's King Henry VIII in the 16th century, individuals who have completed formal study have been entitled to wear a scholarly cap and gown symbolizing their accomplishments. From this cap hangs a tassel. It is this special significance and tradition as it represents your transition from a student to a graduate. Will the class of 2023 please stand and join me? At this time, at this time, please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap, signifying your graduation. Congratulations, class of 2023. Let's hear it one more time. <laughs> Graduates, please remain standing and prepare to exit. This is also a reminder to all parents and graduates that you should meet your family outside of the arena following the ceremony. Once again, congratulations to our amazing class of 2023. 